Can we go and see the employee washrooms, please, Scott, said the CEO. I remember the day like it was yesterday. In fact, it was about 20 years ago, freezing cold November morning, snow on the ground in northern China. And the CEO was asking the board to take a break so that we could go and look at the employee washrooms. So break we took, walked across the parking lot, brutal wind blowing into the factory building and across the factory floor towards the washrooms. On our way there, some employees not wanting to catch the new CEO's eye, other employees smiling nervously. And when we got to the washrooms, thankfully they were empty. The CEO began walking up to each of the sinks and he was going to the soap machine and going like this. And one by one, he would go up to the soap machine like this. And he was taking pictures. And I asked him, I said, what exactly are we doing? And he explained, Scott, our strategy is all about quality and attention to detail. And these washrooms, they don't show quality and they certainly don't show attention to detail. Let me show you. Each soap dispenser needs to have a minimum eight centimeters of soap in it to work correctly, which is more or less four fingers. And look, five sinks in a row, they don't even have two fingers. So how can our employees pay attention to detail if they can't even clean their hands? And the washrooms were changed, they were updated. Fast forward one year and the China plant had the best quality of any of the factories in the world. So what was going on? It's not quite about soap dishes or the condition of the washrooms, but the CEO who is the master of the bathroom as well as master of the boardroom is able to lead his team or her team and be successful in even the most daunting conditions. What kind of leader do you wanna be? Just the boardroom or also the bathroom? That's what mastery is, and strategy is all about mastery.